Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on namespace series. Um, in the previous video, we talked about what namespace is and how does Python handles all the variables uh, that you declare. In this video, we will talk about local namespace. So if you have not watched my previous video, please make sure to watch that and then you can follow along. So without further delay, let's get started. So as usual, we will start with a simple example. So here I have a simple function called uh, function1 and it has a variable called x or let's call it name. It has a name x and the value is and I have a print statement which prints the value of x. Now let's run this function and see, see what happens. Okay, nothing happened because uh, we just defined the function. We have not invoked this function yet. So let's invoke this function. Sorry, let's do it in run mode. Okay, so as uh, we can see, we have this print statement value of x is 10. Everything is ordinary here. Now let's do something unusual. Now let's print the value of x from outside. And let's see what happens. So we can see we have an error here. But we also have this value of x is 10. So this line was executed. But when Python tried to invoke this line, it says that uh, we, want, we want to print the value of x, but it's, it thinks that x is not defined yet. But we did um, declare the x. OK, so let's try to break this down and let's understand what is happening here. So here we have this our representation of memory and the representation of uh, namespace, which is basically a dictionary which has keys and value. So when we run this function, what happens is it goes inside this function and it sees that there is a variable declaration or let's call it name declaration. So whenever Python sees this uh, assign operator, it does two things. It creates this object and assigns the memory address uh, to this name. So this is what will happen in the background. In the memory, Python will create this integer object. Uh, the value of uh, this object will be 10. And because this is, uh, this is inside a memory, it will have some address associated to it. So let's call it address one. Once Python creates this object, it will go in this namespace dictionary and add a new entry. And this time the key will be x and the value will be address one. So fine. And now when it goes to this uh, print line, it says that we are trying to access this uh, name called X. So it will go in the namespace. It will look for the name X and it finds it. So it will go to this address, bring back the value. So we see that the value of X is 10. Now we exit this function and then we come to this line where we want to again print the value of x from outside. So whenever Python sees uh, we are trying to access any variable, what it does is it goes to the namespace and sees that, okay, whether or not I have this entry. In this case, I do have an entry, but still Python is not able to recognize that I have already declared this uh, name or I have uh, created this name. Turns out Python creates uh, different namespaces. There is not just one global namespace. There are lots and lots of namespaces. So what Python does is whenever you define a function, it creates a separate namespace. So it will be something like this. I will just copy this and let me paste it here. So what Python does is for all the methods that you have, it creates a separate dedicated namespace for each and every method that you declare. So this will be function one namespace. So what happens is when it goes inside this function, when it sees we are declaring a name X and we are assigning some value to it, it will not add this entry in this namespace. What it will do is it will add the entry in the dedicated namespace that Python has created for this function. So this namespace won't have any entry. So this will be something like this. So because we were inside this function, whenever Python sees that we want to declare any name and assign some value to it, it goes in the namespace of this dedicated function and then adds entry here. So when we are inside this function, Python sees that, okay, in this namespace, we do, we do have an entry. But whenever we exit out of this function, then Python can no longer access this function's namespace. 
So now what it does is when we go to this line of the code, we are trying to print the value of x. Now it goes into this namespace. Let's call it uh, global namespace for now. We will uh, try to understand what global is in later videos. For now, let's just consider this is a different namespace. So when it tries to see uh, when it tries to print the, the value of x, it goes in this particular namespace and it sees that, okay, there is no entry. So it gives us an error, which is uh, name x is not defined. So this namespace, this dedicated namespace that Python created for a function is referred to as um, a local namespace. And all the variables that you define inside a function is normally referred to as a local variable. And the scope of this variable is only inside this function. Meaning once you exit out of this function, our program can no longer understand that there is any variable called x. That's why we saw an error here. So if we were to declare this x outside the function, let's call it, um, let's do it at the top. Uh, let's call it 15. So what Python will do is when it tries to run this program, it says that x is equals to 15. So what it will do is it will go in the memory, um, create a new object, this time the value will be 15 because this is inside memory let's give it some address and this time it will not add the entry in function one names namespace but rather this namespace so we'll have x and then we'll have the value of address 2. so something like this so now if we were to run the program, uh, just pause the video for a second and think what will happen. Okay, now let's run this function. So was it what you expected? So we have uh, value of x and we have two different value of x. So first we have x is equals to 15. So what Python does is because this is not inside any function, it will go to this namespace and add an entry for it. When it goes inside this function, it again sees that we have x is equals to 10. So whenever Python sees this line, it does two things in the background. It creates this object and then assigns the value to this um, name. And when we are inside any function, it will only do this inside the namespace, which is created for this specific function. So for this line of the code, line number three, this 10 is created in the memory and then uh, the entry for this is added in this function one namespace and not in the original namespace uh, dictionary. So that's why when we print the value of x, we see that it's 10. And when we print the value of x outside the function, we see that x is 15. Now let's uh, try to add another function and see what happens. So let's create another function. Let's call it function 2. And in this function, what we'll do is we'll try to print the value of uh, x and for this uh, example I will comment this line out and I will also comment this line out uh, we'll see why I did that and now what I will do is I will invoke both of the function and now let's run this program Okay, so we see that we have value of x, which is 10. This is from function one, but in the function two, we have this value of x and we see that name x is not defined. So as I said, uh, Python creates dedicated namespace for dedicated functions. So because I have a different function here, what Python will do is it will go in the memory and create another um, namespace. Let's copy it. And this time, this will be namespace for function 2. And because this is a new namespace, it does not have any data in it. And that's why we see an error. So if we were to define x inside this function, now it can uh, access this value. So what Python will do is whenever it sees this line of the code, it goes in the memory. It creates uh, this time a string object and the value is hello. It has uh, address, let's call it address three. So what it does is it creates this entry in this specific namespace. So um, let's go here, we have X 
let's go here we have value um hello sorry address three so now if we were to run this program let me just draw this arrow here so we see that value of x is 10 value of x is hello so we have two different names or two different variables uh, which has different value so python creates this uh, separate namespace those are not affected by one another as you can see we have same name in both of these namespace but they don't override each other so this is uh, how python uh, manages namespace and this is basically the concept behind the namespace and so why i commented this out let's bring it back and now let's run it again so we can see we have uh, 10 uh, hello and then we also have this 15 so at the same time we have three different uh, let's say three uh, names which are same but in three different namespaces and none of them is overridden by another so this is uh, the the concept behind local namespace python does give you some way to understand what are the local names or let's say what are the local variables that you have currently defined in a function so the, there is this built-in function called locals so let's do it let's print locals what this does is it gives you all the data that is inside your local namespace so let's add some function one namespace function one namespace so we'll do before and after just to understand what is happening this is before let's copy it let's add it here this is after uh, let's do it here this is before this is after now let's run all of them okay so let's start with function one because this is the uh, function that we invoked first we see that before function one namespace is an empty dict then we have a variable declaration and now we see that after function one namespace is it has a key x and the value 10. same thing for this function two we have this uh, before function sorry this should have been two this should have been two so we have here before function two namespace is empty then we have value of x hello and after function two we have again in the namespace we have a new entry which says x and the value is hello just to clarify uh, even though you can see this is an actual value here not the address so python does it when you have simple objects smaller objects but if we were to have some complicated objects you would see and uh, see a memory address here so we will clarify that in uh, our coming videos so for now just uh, trust me that this is more of a, a memory space but it is just because we are trying to view it visually it gives us something more understandable when it can okay so the this is this uh, function locals that gives you the current state of your local namespace so as you can see we have the same function but we get different value when it is being called in when it is being called inside different functions so this uh, is how you can understand what are the local variables that you have defined so far and uh, how you can access them is it for this video in the next one we will talk about the remaining namespaces so if you have any uh, doubts confusions any feedbacks or if you think i, I have uh, misexplained something please add them in the comment section thank you